Welcome back to my Houston Texans franchise rebuild here on Madden 22. Today, we are going to be watching this game against the 6-0 Green Bay Packers. We have played the Packers in the last two Super Bowls. We lost one and then we won one, and now they are 6-0 off to a very hot start this year. We also know rookie defensive tackle Nazir Watkins dev trait. Now he is a star dev trait. Obviously, I still have a few decisions to make here in re-signing players. I have not re-signed anybody, but right now we are going to start negotiations with Lamar Boswell. He wants a four-year contract, about six and a half million dollars in a cap hit. We will go ahead and offer that to him. He's been a really solid tight end. He's having a really good year and it looks like he gets his contract extension. We also have our other first round pick from our very first season, left outside linebacker Malik Morgan. He's been really good for us. He's a star dev trait, only 26 years old, wants a five year contract. We are going to offer this to him and he is going to be in Houston for a little bit longer. The team could look a little different next year because DJ Chark and Michael Gallup's contracts are both expiring this season. DJ Chark was our number one receiver, I think the first two years of this franchise. And then we got Brian Tyson. He's 29 years old. I'm waiting to see what progression does to him or the age does to him because he'll hit 30 years old and I don't want to keep him if he takes a big ratings hit. But as of right now, he's still a solid wide receiver too. And then the biggest contract extension is quarterback Joe Spitzer. Five years, $156 million. He's only 26 years old. He's a superstar X Factor, 89 overall. We are going to offer that quarterback this contract, and this offer is perfect. I cannot wait till next year. Well, let, let's talk that's let's stop that talk because we still have this year to play out, Spencer. We're four and three. This season's not over. Since we are now in week eight, I wanted to see where all of our draft picks lie. Right now, we don't have our own first round pick but we do have Seattle's. We traded for that, and right now they have the third pick in the draft. And with that in this mock draft, they have us taking quarterback Chris Beltran out of Florida State, and considering I just gave our quarterback five years, 156 million, that's probably not gonna happen. But this other corner looks enticing maybe, this outside linebacker. I think we are going to have a pretty solid pick. We just have to hope that Seattle stays bad. After weekly training, undrafted rookie Demarcus Henning has an upgrade. We are gonna upgrade his deep threat. With his boost, he is now a 71 overall. He gets plus one to awareness, catch and traffic, two to deep route, one to medium, and one to release. Now we will finally jump into the Super Bowl rematch from the last couple Super Bowls, Joe Spitzer against Jordan Love. Let's see how Spitzer and the offense start things. First and 10 from the 25 following a touchback. Out of shotgun, he goes to the outside. That is caught by Lamar Boswell. Two players connecting that just got brand new contracts. Now second and four, Spitzer and shotgun from the 31. And Miles Sanders out of the backfield. Spitzer under pressure will get sacked on the play all the way back of the 20 yard line. Third and 15, Spitzer and shotgun from the 20. He takes the snap, stands back in the pocket. You cannot take the sack. He will take the sack and fumble the ball. Luckily, Miles Sanders recovered and will punt it away. Just now realizing I did not go over the Packers depth chart. So we have quarterback Jordan Love, who's an 85. Aaron Jones is an 89. Wide receiver is Christian Kirk, who's a 91, and Derek Jefferson, who's an 89, followed by Scotty Miller, who is now in Green Bay. Tight end is a 76 overall, left tackle is a 75, left guard's a 90, center is a 78, right guard's a 94, Zach Martin. Josh Jones is a 75. At defensive end, they have Brian Clayton, who's a 78, and Josh Sweat, who's an 84. Defensive tackles, Kenny Clark and Sheldon Vincent, who are 92 and 83. That D-line is actually pretty terrifying, not gonna lie. Left outside linebackers were Sean Gary, who's 92. Middle linebacker, 77. Right outside linebacker is a 76. At defensive back, they still have 99 overall Jair Alexander and 83 overall Eric Stokes. At free safety, Darnell Savage, who's an 84. And strong safety, Adrian Amos, who is a 79. Now let's see if the defense can contain Jordan Love. From the 22, Love takes a snap to the outside and finds an open man along the sidelines. I believe that will be Scotty Miller. So they start with a 15 yard gain to the 37. Now Love back in shotgun here on first and 10. We'll take the snap. And Love goes to another wide open Scotty Miller down the sideline and Sheldon Peterson shoves him out of bounds. And just like that, they are now in Houston territory from the 40 yard line. Love going under center with Aaron Jones in the backfield and they will give it to Jones and Jones will get a couple of yards. That would set up a third and two. Love under center from the 31, takes the snap. Hands off to Jones, who will get the first down and get brought down to the 27, a gain of four. First and 10, Love under center from the 27, takes the snap, it's a play action. He stands in the pocket, goes to the outside, a wide open receiver again. This time it's Christian Kirk to the 12, second and eight. 
Love under center. Jones in the backfield from the 10 yard line. He'll take the snap, drop back to pass, and he goes to the end zone, and that is caught, but I think he's out of bounds. That was Derek Jefferson on the attempt. Now third and eight. Love out of shotgun again. We'll take the snap. He's dancing around the pocket, rolls up, throws to the end zone, and that is tipped out of the air by Shelton Peterson. Well, at least we held him to a field goal try. They got off to a hot start on that drive, so they will come out for about a 27-yard field goal. The kick is away, and it is good. Let's hope for a better outcome than the last drive. We start with a one-yard gain, so it is second and nine. Spencer out of shotgun, takes the snap. They're bringing a blitz. And Spencer down the right sideline. That will be caught by DJ Chark at the 49-yard line. Chark is one of the players with a contract coming up, and I talked about in the beginning of the video if I would bring him back. I'm leaning towards most likely bringing him back, but like I said, I want to see what the ratings do to him. We then got another one-yard gain from Miles Sanders, so second and nine from the 50. Spitzer out of shotgun will drop back to pass, and he throws off his back foot deep downfield. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and that will be intercepted, but I think he was out of bounds, but there is also a flag. EI on the defense, so we will get the ball at the one-yard line. So now first and goal, Ramondre Stevenson in the backfield, and it's a play action. Spitzer stands back in the pocket. Please do not take a sack. And of course you're going to take a sack. I just gave you a brand new contract and you're going to play like this. That's nice. Second and goal from the 15. Spitzer in shotgun. He will take the snap. Drop back to pass. They brought a blitz. He goes to the outside. That is caught. I believe Miles Sanders and he is out of bounds at the 5. Third and goal and Spitzer has his X factor activated. I have no idea what it is though. From the 5, Spitzer to the end zone. Misses DJ. How do you have your X factor on and miss a wide open receiver? So we bring out Bucker to try to tie the game here. For a very short field goal try, kick is away, and we are all tied up at three. We are going to jump into simulation for a minute. And on the first and 10, they get a one yard run to set up second and nine, and then a four yard run from Jones. And on third and four, knocked away by Justin Reed, so they will punt it back to Houston. Let's see what Houston can do through simulation. On first and 10, a 27 yard pass to Lamar Boswell, and we'll go ahead and jump in off that. A couple run plays later, sets up third and seven. Now Spitzer from shotgun goes downfield and finds Lamar Boswell down the sideline. He is gone. Touchdown, Houston. Once again, the two players with the newest contracts connect for a touchdown. Once again, let's see if Green Bay can do anything and see if they can get into scoring range. They start with a 19-yard pass to Christian Kirk. Pretty good start. First and 10. Six from Aaron Jones. Second and four. Seven from Jones, and they get into Houston territory. One more first down, and we will jump in, but we head to the second quarter. On first and 10, a negative two yard run from Aaron Jones. Second and 12, 11 from Christian Kirk. Would set up third and one, and they will not get it. So that'll set up a fourth and one, and I imagine they'll kick the field goal. They will, it is now 14, I'm sorry, six to 10. I almost said 14 to six. All right, Houston, what can you do here? First and 10, five to Michael Gallup. Good start, second and five, three to Sanders. Third and two, a six yard run from Sanders. Get a first down. And then a drop pass by Brian Tyson. You don't see that a whole lot. Second and 10, he throws it away. And on third and 10, he throws it away again. So we will punt the ball back to Green Bay. So now Green Bay is on offense here. And an eight-yard pass to Harrison Bryant would set up second and two. And they hit Scotty Miller for 21, nearing Houston territory. Throws it away on first down. Second and 10, throws it away. And on third and 10, he hits Scotty Miller for 18. And we'll go ahead and jump in here. First and 10 from the 33. Love going under center, down by four. Takes the snap, hands off to Aaron Jones, and Jones makes a man miss somehow and gets a gain of about five. Second and four, Love in shotgun from the 27. 6.55 to go. Love takes the snap and goes to the outside. That will be caught and out of bounds of the 20. First down, Green Bay. First and 10 again for Green Bay. 6.35 to go here in the half, and it's a handoff to Aaron Jones, who was tripped up in the backfield by Demarcus Lawrence. Second and 11, Love in shotgun from the 21. 6-12 to go. Love drops back and goes downfield to an open man. I don't know why we're leaving these guys so open. I don't know if it's the zone coverage that's screwing them up or what. First and goal, Love in shotgun from the three. He will send the man in motion, take the snap, and it's a handoff to Aaron Jones, and Jones is hit in the backfield. That was Grant Delpit and Jordan Brooks on the stop. Now second and goal from the seven out of shotgun again. Love will take the snap, and he's looking to pass. Please no one leave someone wide open. And he dumps it off underneath to, I believe that is Christian Kirk, and he gets to the three-yard line, and Demarcus Lawrence is now injured. That is not good. 
Third and goal, and I don't see anyone lined up over that receiver in the slot. This could be bad. Third and goal, handoff to Aaron Jones, and he will not get into the end zone. They will settle for another field goal try. Never mind. No, they won't. Fourth and goal from the two. Love comes out in shotgun, gives it back to Aaron Jones, and Jones dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Packers, and they take the lead. Let's see how Houston responds to that. Down by three, we started the 25 after the touchback. Spencer out of shotgun, still with his X-Factor activated. Will dump this off underneath. That is caught by Chark for the first down, but there is a flag, so I imagine that's coming back. No, it won't. That is roughing the passer on the defense, so we get an additional, like, 15 yards to that. Second and eight. Spencer in shotgun from the 46. Will take the snap, look to pass, and he's under pressure, gets rid of it, and that is a wide-open Lamar Boswell, who for some reason steps out of bounds. First and 10 from the 37 now. I kind of wish Boswell had stayed in bounds there. I think he had a lot of room to move. And on the next play, they hand off to Sanders up the middle, who gets, I think, his biggest run of the day. Third and three, out of shotgun again, this time from the 29. Spitzer takes a snap and a third straight run play to Miles Sanders, and he does not get the first down. We bring out Harrison Bucker for about a 45-yard field goal try here. And the kick is a way to tie the game, and it is good. On first and 10, Green Bay starts with a five-yard run from Aaron Jones. That would take us to the two-minute warning. And on the next play, they hit... Okay, there was apparently a play in between there, but it didn't want to show that, I guess. But then he, hit, he hits Derek Jefferson for a gain of eight. Second and two, Scotty Miller, 51-yard touchdown. Are you kidding me, defense? All right, Spencer, you have a minute 22 to go in the half and all three timeouts to try to tie this game back up. Let's see what you can do. Out of shotgun, he'll take the snap. Stand in the pocket. Go over the middle, and that's caught by Lamar Boswell, who gets to about the 40-yard line. And in true EA fashion, we would burn some time before burning a timeout. So now first and 10, about a minute to go here. Spitzer then throws down the right sideline. That is caught by DJ Chark, I believe, but he is not in bounds. Never mind, he was in bounds. We went from the 40 to the 40, so it kind of threw me off. But first and 10, Spitzer out of shotgun from the 40-yard line. We'll take the snap, and it's a quick throw. I believe that was to Michael Gallup, and he does not get much. No, I apologize. That was actually Gabe Waddle. Now second and eight from the 38, 53 seconds to go. Spitzer takes the snap, and Spitzer goes deep down the middle, and that is caught by Tyson, but he can't hold on through contact. That would lead to a third and eight, and now I see at the top of the screen, Jair Alexander has his X-Factor available, so please don't throw his way. Spencer takes the snap, stands back in the pocket. He's got some time. He's running out of time, still dancing around, and will finally be sacked. You've got to throw that away. Why is EA this bad? Like, I understand that's part of his trait or something, but there needs to be a level. Not that bad. And is this going to get blocked? It almost did. And on first and 10, Jordan Love is sacked by Zach Braddon for a loss of three. Second and 13, Aaron Jones for 10. And on third and four, knocked away by Sheldon Peterson. And that would take us to halftime. All right, first and 10 for Green Bay. Let's see what they do. A 15-yard pass to Derek Jefferson to start the second half. And then a 13-yard pass to Christian Kirk into Houston territory. Then he throws it away. Second and 10, Christian Kirk for 12. If they cross the 30, we'll go ahead and jump in. First and 10, 15-yard penalty. That is not a 15-yard penalty. That is much bigger than that. But I said we would jump in. So from the nine, with nine minutes to go here in the third quarter, Love is in shotgun here on first and goal. He will take the snap, stand in the pocket, look to pass, go over the middle. That is caught by Derek Jefferson, and he is brought down at the three. Third and goal. From the three, he throws downfield, and that is incomplete. He threw right into the hip of his tight end, and they are going to go for it here on fourth and goal. Defense, we need this stop. We can keep this a one-possession game. Love drops back to pass, goes to the end zone, and that is intercepted on the play. And he is going to take a knee. Who got that pick? I think that's Grant Delpit. I think Delpit probably could have returned that for a touchdown if he kept running, but we'll take over at the 20-yard line, hand off to Miles Sanders up the middle, and that'll be a gain of about five or six, but there is a flag. And it's a face mask on the defense, so another 15 yards. A couple plays later, it is third and eight. Spitzer out of shotgun from the 42. We'll take the snap. And he goes over the middle of the field, deep downfield, and that is caught by DJ Chark inside the 30. Chark is having one hell of a day so far. First and 10 from the 28. Spitzer under center will take the snap. Hand up to Miles Sanders to the outside, and Sanders will get a gain of about three. Second and seven from the 25. Spitzer in shotgun. Will take the snap. Stand back in the pocket under pressure, and will get sacked on the play back at the 34. Third and 16, trying to keep this drive alive from the 34-yard line. Spitzer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, 
Under pressure goes downfield. That is caught, and Gallup is out of bounds at the 27, nowhere near the marker. So we send out Harrison Bucker for about a 45-yard field goal try to try to make it a four-point game, and the kick is good. All right, defense, let's do something big here. Knocked away by Cameron Dantzler on first down. Second and 10, Scotty Miller for eight. On third and two, sacked by Nazir Watkins for a four-yard loss, and they will punt it away. All right, Spencer, let's see what you can do. From the 35, first and 10, 10 yards to Brian Tyson. Second and one, throws it away. Third and one, negative three from Miles Sanders. So on fourth and four, we will have to punt it back. Green Bay takes over at the three-yard line here on first and 10. Gets a six-yard run from Jones, second and four. Christian Kirk for 17 on the next set of downs. He is sacked by Malik Morgan for a loss of eight. We don't see Malik Morgan get a lot of sacks. Second and 18, Derek Jefferson for 16. Are you kidding me? We get him for a loss of eight, and then we let up a 16-yard pass. Third and two, seven to Harrison Bryant, new set of downs. First and 10, 10 to Harrison Bryant. Second and one, four from Aaron Jones, and that will take us to the fourth quarter, down by four. On first and 10, Derek Jefferson for 13. If they get one more first down, we'll jump in, and he hits Derek Jefferson for 26 to the six-yard line. First and goal from the six. Love out of shotgun, takes the snap, stands in the pocket. He's under pressure from Malik Morgan, and Malik Morgan gets his second sack today. I think he's filling in for Demarcus Lawrence because that's the edge he came off of. Second and goal now from the 18-yard line. Love going under center. If we can hold him to a field goal, that will be big. He takes the snap, hands off to Aaron Jones, who was hit in the backfield and brought down by 26, which is Kendall Bibbs. It took me a minute to remember that. Now third and goal from the 18-yard line. Love under center, drops back to pass, maybe looking to go to the end zone. He's running out of time and will be sacked, fumble the ball, but Green Bay recovers. That would have been even bigger if we could get the turnover, but Davon Hamilton gets the sack. So they bring on their kicker for about a 41-yard try to make it a seven-point game. And then it will be in the hands of Joe Spitzer to tie it. The kick is away, and it is good. Houston will start at the 25-yard line, down by seven. Spitzer in shotgun. Eight minutes to go in the game. We start with a handoff to Miles Sanders, who will get nothing. Now second and nine. Spitzer out of shotgun from the 26. 7.45 to go in the game. Takes the snap, looks to pass. Stay in the pocket, under pressure, needs to get rid of it, and is going to be sacked on the play back at the 11 for Gary's fourth sack today. Third and 24 from the 11. To try to keep this drive alive, we are going to need a miracle. Spitzer out of shotgun will drop back to pass. Looking to go downfield. You cannot get sacked in the end zone. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Green Bay returns the safety punt all the way back to R47. So on first and 10, they get a 17-yard gain to Derek Jefferson. On the next play, a nine-yard run from Aaron Jones. Second and one, five from Jones. And we'll go ahead and jump in to see if our defense can pull up a miracle. Down by nine, first and 10 from the 17. We need the defense to come up with a turnover. Hand off to Aaron Jones up the middle, and Jones will get about six. Second and five, Love going under center from the 11. Five minutes to go in the game. He will send Scotty Miller in motion. Play action to Scotty Miller. Hand off to Aaron Jones up the middle, and he will get the first down. That's not even Aaron Jones, I don't think. No, it is. Never mind. For some reason, I thought I saw the running back wearing number 20, so I assumed it wasn't Jones. But now first and goal from the three. Love drops back to pass to the outside, and that is almost intercepted by Justin Reed. I really feel like he had a chance at that. Now second and goal, and they're probably just going to give this one to Aaron Jones. No, they're giving it to the fullback, who will not get into the end zone. Third and goal. A pick six here would be amazing. From the one, Love out of shotgun takes the snap, and he's under pressure. Goes to the end zone. That is caught, and he comes down with it. Touchdown, Green Bay. Apparently, they went for two to make this a 17-point game, and they got it, so they make it 33-16, to and now Houston will come back out. Down by 17, I really don't know how much of a chance we have. First and 10, six from Joe Spitzer, second and four, throws it away, and then a five-yard penalty against Adam Baker. So then on third and nine, he throws it away, and then on fourth and nine, they will go for it and not get there. Only a gain of five, so Green Bay will take over. Start with a negative three yard rush, second and 13, eight from Aaron Jones. And on third and five, he throws it away. And that will take us to the two minute warning. So on fourth and five, they would actually kick the field goal. And yeah, this game is pretty much over. We're just simulating for stat reasons. A seven yard gain to Gallup. And then on second and three, sacked by Rashawn Gary, who just got like his uh, five and a half sacks, I think. And then on third and six, throws it away, fourth and six. Brian Tyson for 10 to keep the drive alive. That's pointless. First and 10, five to Gallup. Second and five, 11 to Tyson. Just stat padding here. First and 10, 10 to Tyson. 
and then 11 to Gallup. 22 seconds to go in the game. First and 10, throws it away. Can we get one more garbage time touchdown pass? Yes, we can. DJ Chart catches a 23-yard touchdown pass, which should be the end of this game. 36 to 23. We cannot knock off the Packers. They improved to 7 and 0. We fall to 4 and 4. I really like Spitzer as a quarterback in simulation games. He does really well, but whenever we watch him, he just has no sense of pressure whatsoever. It also doesn't help that our starting center Adam Baker is actually out. So we are rolling with like a 60 something overall center. Our center should be back next week, which will hopefully improve this offense a bit because we, there were times where it looked really good today. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, Spitzer taking those sacks is absolutely insane. Let's take a look at these stats for today. Joe Spitzer goes 22 of 32 for 291 yards and two touchdowns. Rushing wise, we could not do anything. And I really think that goes down to Adam Baker, our starting center, like I said, being out. So Miles Sanders goes 15 for 29. Spitzer two for 11. Receiving wise, DJ Chark had one hell of a day. Six catches for 113 yards and a touchdown. Lamar Boswell, five for 91 and a score. They really kind of locked up Tyson for the most part, only four for 41. And then let's go check out the defensive stats. Leading the team in tackles, not really a shock is Jordan Brooks with 11 tackles for loss. Damon Hamilton got three. Grant Delpit got two. Malik Morgan, Jordan Brooks, and Demarcus Lawrence all got one. Lawrence is injured, though. We'll have to see what his injury is. Sacks, Malik Morgan got two. Zach Bradham got one. Damon Hamilton got one. And then Ramon Kyle and Nazir Watkins look like they shared one. We did get one interception. Grant Delpit picked him off in the end zone. And I still think he probably could have returned that for six had he actually tried. Love goes 30 of 44 for 422 yards and two touchdowns, one interception. Rushing wise, Aaron Jones, 22 for 74 and a score. Receiving Derek Jefferson, eight for 121. And Scotty Miller, eight for 148 and two touchdowns. And Christian Kirk caught seven passes for 91 yards. Their starting receiving core absolutely gashed our secondary. And I honestly don't know why. Right guard Sammy Cooper has an upgrade. We'll just upgrade his power with his boost right now. He's an 87, but he gets plus two to awareness, two to impact, one to lead, and one to pass block power. And it looks like Demarcus Lawrence has broken ribs, so he will be out the next four weeks, but I have not simulated this next week, so he will miss the next three games, it looks like. And now someone is calling it quits. Please don't tell me. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Laramie Tunsil. I've been feeling a lot better recently. Still not where I'd like to be, but as long as we're winning, it shouldn't take long to get there. Okay. Cool, so Laramie Tunzel is not leaving us. That that was my big concern. Coach, protection for the quarterback was a major issue this past week as you surrendered a high volume of sacks. Um, I'm gonna blame Spitzer. He it was his fault there. The ball has to come out faster or the ball has to come out faster or come out, period. Those negative plays make drives nearly impossible. Yeah, we, we've seen this before. Uh no, we're gonna stick to the pass. Just because it's our best trait. Beat the Raiders and pass for 300 yards. Limiting sacks allowed will give your offensive lineman a temporary boost. Coach, last game was another on the long list of stellar games for Joe Spitzer. Are you expecting that again this week? Uh, I think we're playing the Raiders, right? Is that what it just said? Yeah, but he's created that reputation for himself. He plays at such a high level that you almost take for granted that you're going to see something great each week. Throw one or fewer interceptions and have 400 scrimmage yards. Or Okay, so it's the same goal from the last video, I think, when we were going to play the Colts. Actually, it could have been against like the Titans or something. I don't remember who we were playing, but Spitzer has had that goal before and barely missed it. We do have a couple upgrades here after the weekly training. We are going to upgrade Nazir Watkins' run stopper ability. He has now an 82 overall base, 83 with his boost, plus two to block shedding and plus one to tackle. Davon Hamilton also has an upgrade. We're also going to upgrade his run stopper ability. So he goes to an 84 with his boost and he gets plus one to block shedding, play wreck and tackle. We are now officially on a losing streak. That is three games in a row as we drop this one to the Raiders, 35 to 21. Spitzer goes 30 of 42 for 334 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. So he will once again, not get that QB breakout thing. Miles Sanders, 12 for 45. Cameron Glass, seven for 22. Receiving wise, Brian Tyson, seven for 109. Shark, eight for 102. Lamar Boswell did catch a touchdown and six passes for 53 yards. Leading the team in tackles was Ramon Kyle with eight tackles for a loss. It looks like Kyle got one, Hamilton, Bibbs, Nazir Watkins and Malik Morgan. Four sacks, Ramon Kyle's the only one to get one. Hopefully losing to Marcus Lawrence does not hurt us that bad and we do not get a pick. Derek Carr goes 19 of 27 for 286 yards and three touchdowns. Running the ball, Josh Jacobs goes 14 for 124 and a touchdown. He averaged almost nine yards a carry. Receiving wise, McCole Hardman, eight for 135 and a touchdown. And Daryl Floyd, three for 51 and two scores. And now we have no players on the injury report, so it looks like Demarcus Lawrence is back. 
during weekly training it showed that he got hurt and he had like a hit pointer and then it showed that he was only going to be out for a week i figured it would fix itself but i guess not so i guess if a player gets injured and then gets injured somehow when you're simulating practice it like overtakes that so he no longer has broken ribs spencer will have plus five medium and deep pass accuracy for the next game after allowing zero sacks, your entire offensive line will have plus five pass block power and pass block finesse for the next two games. And Joe Spencer gets five morale. Coach, you're tasked with facing the Jaguars and their highly tied defense this week. Where do you think you can have success? We're going to say the passing game. I don't know. Just kind of a guess. Beat the Jaguars and throw over 300 yards on offense. Wide receiver Gabe Waddle gets an upgrade. We're just going to keep upgrading his deep threat ability. And let's see what he gets. He gets plus one to awareness, one to deep route one to or i'm sorry two to release and one to speed how fast is he now he is a 91 speed now and joe spitzer gets an upgrade we will upgrade his strong arm get him to a 90 overall he is 94 with his boost let's see what he gets plus one to awareness deep accuracy and throw accuracy mid and we end the losing streak beating jacksonville 34 to 20 and moving on to five and five we're not going to get the boost that it wanted because it said through over 300 yards and Spitzer goes 24 for 36 for 296 yards and three touchdowns. Rushing wise, Sanders 8 for 41, Glass 9 for 24. Who actually ran in for a touchdown there? Ramondre Stevenson gets one. And then receiving wise, Lamar Boswell continues his great season 6 for 93 in a touchdown. Gallup 7 for 63 in a score and Gabe Waddle caught a touchdown. Defensively leading the team in tackles was Jordan Brooks with 10 tackles for loss. Davon Hamilton got two and then a bunch of players got one. What about sacks? Demarcus Lawrence who re magically recovered from broken ribs got one. Ross Blacklock got one and Josh Favors got one but no one got a pick. Trevor Lawrence goes 26 of 40 for 354 yards and two touchdowns. Rushing wise Elijah Mitchell 10 for 31. We did not let them run the ball that well. Receiving, Chenault goes 6 for 94, Adams 6 for 88, and then Von Bozeman 4 for 81 and a touchdown. Okay, so we didn't throw for 300 yards, but we did get the win, so they gave us 1,000 experience and 5 morale. And now Demarcus Lawrence has been injured again. This time he has a torn labrum. Maybe he'll magically recover from that too. But that will end today's episode. We are 5-5 five and five, headed into week 11 to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. We will watch that game next time. For a couple reasons one the eagles are my favorite team so i just enjoy watching the games against them and two they have quarterback kenny cohen who was drafted i believe the same year as joe spitzer so we'll, we'll get to see those two battle against each other but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys next time